okay so we have in the previous video we have already talked about uh, pv cell okay and th there i said that i will give you guys a pv um, system or standalone pv system what that is so this is your standalone pv system this is also called as off grid pv system this on grid and off grid concept i will teach you guys in the next video okay so this is standalone pv system what it is let's explain in details this is your uh, solar array this is your mppt controller this is your inverter my handwriting and drawing are not that good but don't worry uh, yeah. the explanation will give you guys everything and you guys can draw it by your own okay this is inverter this is your battery charger this is your control charger okay as i said i already explained it <laughs> this is your control charger this is your battery this is your dump load and this is your mode controller okay so these are your diodes DATP. So uh, what 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 happening is, is the solar array is getting the power and it's giving it. Okay, the MPPT takes the voltage and current input and output. Okay, and from that the maximum power it gets it extracts. Okay, it the MPPT MPPT sorry MPPT uh, controller. The main work of this is is to extract the maximum power it can get. Okay, and then it feeds the power to the inverter and the inverter to the loads. Okay, but this is not the simple. Okay. I mean, the, uh, the, your load already got the current, right? From DC to AC converter and load got the current. But suppose your home uh, uh, needs a 100 watt, okay? But uh, this whole solar thing give you 150 watt, okay? Now this 50 watt is excess, okay? This 50 watt was excess. Now what happens is this 50 watt is then given to the battery charger to charge the battery and then to store the power in the battery, okay? This 50 watt. Now this 50 watt is given to the battery but the battery capacity is 40 watt what will happen to the 10 watt this 10 watt will be dumped to the dump load okay you are getting this right your home needs one 100 watt but the power extracted was 150 watt by the mpptv okay now sorry mppt now the uh, 50 watt is gi uh, given to the battery charger to charge the battery it is charging well at 40 watt which is its limit at its capacity after uh, after 40 watt 10 watt is remaining so it is saying what will you do with the 10 watt then db said db, db is your diode okay then this diode said don't worry i will discharge it to the dump load and so the 10 watt is discharged through the dump load that is it is dumped okay now there is one more component da what does this diode do this diode is also important in fact it is like mm, most important <laughs> that is what this does is this disconnects the battery from the whole thing okay when there is no sunlight yeah so what this dia does is it discharges the battery from the whole connection all right it discharges the battery from discharges the battery from the array so in that way the battery can keep the charge and the, it doesn't get discharged during the night or uh, during when there is no sunlight that is in simple words this dia prevents the battery to getting discharge at night or in the absence of sunlight so this is basically your uh, pv system or, or standalone pv system or off-grid pv system actually there is also an on-grid pv system in on-grid pv system what uh, what happens is the solar uh, power is directly given to the i mean the electricity converter is directly given to the uh, loads all right and the grid there is no battery or there is no ppt controller okay uh, it doesn't I mean it's not that important it doesn't come in the exams but still I will uh, uh, explain you guys in the next video if it does if, for any any chance I mean for any case okay um, okay yeah I uh, hope you guys understood if you guys did then great uh, like this video and guys do subscribe with notifications on yeah with notifications on and see you guys in the next video